Hey everybody, this is Lorelia, and I am doing an update to this video. I recently, or should I say a few years ago, I did a video on uh, this topic, which is how to install WordPress using GoDaddy hosting. So things have now changed with the GoDaddy interface and platform. So that video is a bit dated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update it for you. So once again, this is to show you how you can get started blogging using WordPress of course the self-hosted version of WordPress and if you don't know the difference between WordPress.org or WordPress.com within this video you'll see a link and it will take you to that video and once again that video is still up to date it pretty much um, explains to you the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com so this video is to explain to you about WordPress.org which is the self-hosted um, version of WordPress. So at this point, you have purchased your domain, you have purchased your hosting, of course, using GoDaddy, and now you want to get started blogging. So you're saying to yourself, okay, well, what do I do next? So what do you want to do is right now I am on the GoDaddy uh, website. So from there, I will go right here to my account. I will go to visit my account and as you can see I have domains web hosting so of course I am going to uh, manage now of course right here is the actual domain that I am hosting WordPress on. So keep in mind, I've already had WordPress hosted on my blog. So uh, things may be a little different on your end, but keep in mind, um, you need to decide what domain you are going to use your uh, WordPress blog on. So of course, that is um, what you see right here is the domain that I am using to host my um, WordPress blog and I have numerous ones so I go to manage and then from manage what I'm going to get is all my hosting details and then right down what you want to do is go down to the bottom and you will click this right here this WordPress icon. Now keep in mind, like I said, I've already had WordPress um, already um, installed onto my blog, so I can't walk you step by step, but this is at least give you an idea of where to go. So if you can see right here, I actually have um, seven um, properties that actually is using WordPress. Uh, so once again, what you want to do is, now this area of course is manage. That's if you already have WordPress installed and you want to make some changes. But what you want to do is because you're the user that's trying to at least get your WordPress blog up and running. So what you want to do is go to install. Now from install, um, you will, um, like I said, it, it, it are, GoDaddy is already telling me. The domain is already in use. Please choose a new one or enter a new directory below. So I'll give you an idea. Um, you know, don't know how many domains you may have purchased, but right now um, many of these are either outdated. Um, I no longer have them or they already have WordPress um uh, hosting already on them. So what I would do is um, this is a web property that I have. It doesn't it doesn't have a WordPress um, hosting on it, but I want to show you what I would do. Um, so what I would do is I would select this, and then from here the directory you can't keep that blank. Now the reason why um, this field is over here is that let's say you already had a website that is already created and you you want your blog to be separate now most people do have because they do know and if, if you don't know this most people know that wordpress can be a um a website hosting site or it can be a blog but some people may have already had the website created and they only want blog so right here the directory you may want to put blog 
And then from here, you just need to create an admin name. Remember to write this down because you cannot call GoDaddy and ask them what is my um, admin name. A lot of times they do not know. So as soon as you create it, make sure you write it down so you remember it. And then again, you will put your um, admin password and then you will confirm the password and then you would hit OK. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you are up and running and you are ready to get started with your WordPress blog. So that's it. Like I said, the um, interface may have changed since my previous video, but keep in mind it's still the same. And if you, you know, if you're if you were interested in using GoDaddy, um, I have some links below that will show you how you can get started. So hope this has been some help. And you know what? Get out there and get started blogging. Looking forward to talking to you next video. Bye bye.